This new agreement means Uganda will extend its power grid to the South Sudan border townships of Nimule, Kajokeji and Kaya. It is hoped this will stimulate further economic activity between Northern Uganda and South Sudan. The onus is on the Republic of South Sudan to say we want to transform here, we want this line to go this far, we want this line to go here and there and there. And this technical committee will come out with the scope. Uganda is already implementing cross-border electrification with Tanzania and Rwanda. It is a requirement under the East African Community Framework for partner states to share power with communities near the grid along the border points. The South Sudan Energy Minister says powering border towns is likely to attract some refugees to do business back home. If this uh, facility is provided, it can facilitate the return of the IDPs. They can go to their home and it will even relieve Uganda from the bedding of helping a lot of refugees in the border, in the border of the country. Before the war, South Sudan was Uganda's biggest regional market consuming manufactured goods agricultural products and services. Michael Balekesijitien, Kampala, Uganda.